galvanized steel conduit is a commonly available pipe that you can find in Ace Hardware, Home Depot, Lowe's, and places like that. You'll find it in the electrical aisle and you'll see all sorts of sizes from half inch EMT conduit all the way up to even two and three inches in some cases. And whenever you look at the sticker on the pipe or even if you're looking online, you'll see a measurement mentioned in the name. For example, this is half inch EMT conduit, but that half inch measurement is actually referring to the trade size and not the actual inside or outside diameter. And if you're an electrician, you probably know what that means. I think it has something to do with the size of the wires that can fit inside of the conduit. I'm not 100% sure. We like to use conduit for building and knowing the inside and outside diameter can be really beneficial if you're looking for something to fit either inside, whether it be like the threaded pipe insert, or even if you want something to fit on the outside like this washer, it's good to know the outside diameter. So in today's video, I'm gonna tell you the inside and outside diameter of three commonly available pipes, half inch EMT conduit, three quarter inch, and one inch EMT conduit. And I've got a chart linked down below if you wanna see other sizes of EMT conduit. At the very end, I'm gonna show you a couple of ways that you can get a rough estimate for pipes if you can't find a chart online or if you just need to figure out some measurements. But first, let's look at half inch EMT conduit. The outside diameter is 0.706 inches, and the inside diameter is 0.622 inches. Three quarter inch EMT conduit has an outside diameter of 0.922 inches and an inside diameter of 0.824 inches. One inch EMT conduit has an outside diameter of 1.163 inches and an inside diameter of 1.049 inches. And again, I'll link a chart that has these three sizes and other pipes down below if you wanna check that out or you can screenshot the video here. But if you don't have that chart handy or if you just want a quick and easy way to figure out some rough estimates, you can do an exact measurement with the calipers here, but not everybody has calipers, but you can use a just a regular tape measure, even a ruler, something like that that you have handy to find the measurements. And the easiest way is if you have a flat surface, put the tape measure against that flat surface and then measure the pipe that way. And you can kind of see from the outside of one side of the pipe to the outside of the other. But if you don't have a flat surface or just another way you can do this is to actually line up the pipe with the hash mark on the tape measure. As you can see here, got the tape measure lined up just on the outside. And then you can see a rough estimate by just looking at the hash marks, you can see that measurement. So for one inch EMT, we can see that it's roughly about an inch and one eight, maybe just a little shy of an inch and one eight there, which gives you, you know, a rough estimate. A lot of times you'll see accessories or different things for pipes that actually go based off of, let's say a seven eighths inch measurement or something like that. And you can then look at your conduit or whatever pipe it may be, and you can see a rough idea of that size. And then you can see if that accessory is gonna fit it. So I hope this video is helpful to you. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. Thanks everybody for watching. We'll see you in the next video.